You know what I got today? 101 roses, yellow and pink. A guy I met in traffic school. Well, good luck. Actually, I was really disappointed in Tony. Uh-oh, here we go. I mean, I'm used to going out with much better-looking men. No. He can't help it. Don't hurt his feelings. I mean, he's so little, and he's got bad breath. <laughs> uh, Tony, uh, how'd you like Melanie's breath? I don't want your excuses. I don't want your tears. I want your action. Only you can take responsibility for your own life. Only you can change the course of an unhappy existence and make it better. Watch out for the crawling eye. Last night, I dreamed I made love to Gorbachev. It was in his office at the Kremlin. Afterwards, he called down for sandwiches. What kind of sandwiches? Roast beef. With mustard? I don't know with mustard. Anyway, when the waitress brought him up, he went to sign for him. She said he had to pay cash. Imagine Gorbachev having to pay cash at the Kremlin. Look at her, like a prom queen. You're a real artist, Grace. The stiff ready? Let's see. I don't remember all this hair. Oh, I helped her out a little in that department. You did the back. Nobody sees the back. I keep telling you, you spend too much time on them, Grace. Time is money. Joy to the world. You know something, Irene? She looks a lot better now than she did in the hospital. But she was alive in the hospital. Well, she looks better dead. I feel as though I know 
the deceased. After talking with her lovely family, they told me she always wanted to ride in a white Cadillac. Well, folks, she's riding in one today. The finest coffin money can buy. Everything but wheels. <laughs> It was a good funeral. Everyone was crying. The family won her ashes, divided up in plastic bags. Oh. Well, that's nice. They all want a part of her. Grace, do I understand this right? You'll be taking tomorrow off? Yeah, my father's getting married. But Carrie will manage just fine. I've been teaching her. But we're loaded tomorrow. They'll be stacked up down there. Look, you were 10 minutes late this morning, and you were three minutes late yesterday. Now, do I have to remind you, Grace, it's our busy time of year. People drop dead during the holidays. Grace! Mm, maybe you could squeeze into it. If I tried to squeeze into this dress, I'd look like a sausage. Uh, no, 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 dear. You're in the wrong department completely. Look in our large ladies' department. I was just looking. It doesn't hurt to look. Honey, just do me a favor. Look in our large ladies department. It looks fine. I have eyes. I look like a two-story house. Here, try the fuchsia. Carrie. I look like a whole apartment building in fuchsia. Ugh. Well, I still think it stinks that you can't be one of the bridesmaids. I mean, if her two daughters get to stand in line, why don't you? You're his daughter. Wanda wants a small line. Small? She's got seven bridesmaids. Small in stature. They're all petite. She says, Grace, honey, you wouldn't look in balance. Anyway, I'd look ridiculous in pink and ruffled. Well, it's not fair. Your dad should stand up for you. My dad can hardly look at me. I'm not exactly what he had in mind for a daughter. Maybe you remind him of your mother. Oh, no. I'm nothing like my mother. My mother was beautiful, thin and tall and lanky and wonderful. The mirrors are terrible in these places. They show you like you really are. I guess I could just wear my gray dress. Yeah. Why go out and spend money on some fancy dress? How many times do you think you're ever going to get a chance to wear it? Probably never. Chances of either one of us getting married are zilch. Let's get out of here. I'm hungry. Lots and lots of chili, please. You know, hot dogs are filled with hormones and disgusting preservatives. Thanks. I knew this girl, she wore black to her wedding. Gloria told me. The bridegroom choked on the wedding cake, had a complete spasm attack, and died, I know. Well, it's the truth. It really happened. That one's cute. He looks like a mama's boy. I steer away from those types. Do you realize, Grace, that the best relationship I ever had on my life was with Eddie Brocks? And that only lasted for eight days when he was here visiting my roommate. Was that the one you had the bubble bath with? Wow. But we had on our bathing suits. I still has to count for something. You couldn't drink that. Mm, go ahead. Thanks. They don't use real chocolate anymore, you know? And it's not real cream, either. It's that plastic stuff they spray out of cans. Carrie, it's not going to kill you. Look, I'm still alive, aren't I? <laughs> Grace, look. He's beautiful. Probably married. He's got a bunny girlfriend. He's the most beautiful man I've ever seen.
Even if you ever had a chance with somebody like that, all these diseases, you couldn't sleep with them. Sure I could. I'd just boil them first. You know, they can get into your lungs and they get into your bloodstream. They grow until they kill you. Are you sure my own dress will look good enough? Well, it doesn't look so hot, but it isn't offensive. My train. Bye. <laughs> to see. Wanda, this is a modern-day fairy tale. Once upon a time, a butcher met the checkout lady at the supermarket. <laughs> anyway, the bride and groom want to thank Harold Stoney over there for putting on the wedding for them. Yeah, now, a Greek philosopher, I think his name was Plato, he said, men and women are orange halves. Searching for the rest of themselves to make us whole. Al, Wanda, I know you are going to make the big orange. <laughs> Hi, Elsa. Guess we're kind of like sisters now, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Grace, oh! You look beautiful, Wanda. Thank you. I'm so glad you're here. You know, you, you must stop by one of these nights and, and let me do your hair. I mean, you should just put yourself in my capable hands, right? <laughs> I got my man, didn't I? Mm, it's good to see you, sweetheart. <laughs> Congratulations, Daddy. Oh, Grace, thank you. Thank you, dear. This is probably a stupid wedding present, only I thought you might like it. Oh, my gosh. That's me and you. Yeah, I, I had it painted from a photo. Yeah, it's nice. I was thinner then. Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, Wanda, look at this. How that's bracing oh, me yes, here. look at that. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Hey, that would really look nice uh, hanging up in a dining Absolutely, room, huh? Absolutely, darling. Look who's here. Wilbur! <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to hang it. <laughs> I thought you were going fishing. Oh, I wouldn't have missed this. <laughs> You're looking great, Lil, but so glad you could make it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Getting too old for this. <clears throat> Caught you. You know something? I know. I'd be a very pretty girl if I'd just lose weight. You've been telling me that my entire life. Lose 100 pounds, everything will change. That's easy. Which diet? I've tried them all. The only one left is starvation. Sweetie, could you get me another rum and coke? Rum and coke. Your father loves you very much, you know. I know. He's just trying to help you. Grace, you have such a pretty face, but if you don't lose weight, you never will find a boyfriend. I'm not looking for a boyfriend. Of course you are. You don't fool me one bit. I've already got a boyfriend. Well, since when? For a while. I just haven't said anything. Oh, he's really nice. And he likes me just the way I am. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure your uh, father and I would love to meet him. Oh, I'm sure you will. Time for the rice, Hi. honey. Uh, see you later. Bye. You should have seen him in his uniform. Well, men always look better in uniforms. That's what attracted all the war brides, you know. They fell in love with the uniform, then they discovered a mosquito. I think he looked at me. I really do. I think he kind of noticed me. You mean he made eye contact? Not exactly, but... Doesn't count unless he makes eye contact. Carrie, I want him. <laughs> Whoa. Honest, did you see him? So I'm in the middle. I'm not kidding. <gasps> there he is. I've got to get out there. I've got to make him notice me. Grace! Grace! Ah! Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. Are you all right? You okay? Anything. <laughs> you ready? It wasn't just eye contact, Carrie. He likes me, I can tell. Four weeks off? That's absurd, without even giving me notice. I want my vacation time. I've worked here for three whole years and I've never had a vacation. It's impossible. It's impossible. Life is fleeting. It's the busy season, the holidays. People are dying all over the place. Four weeks. I have it coming. Oh, be reasonable, Grace. Look, Carrie's work is erratic. She uses too much makeup. Everybody ends up looking like Tammy Baker. I could discuss it with the labor board. Um, OK. All right, uh, let's say uh, two weeks off now. Three. Three weeks off now, and you can take the other week later. Thank you. And I hope when you come back, you'll be your old self. Excuse me. I'm trying to find out the name of one of your motormen. We aren't allowed to give that information out. But you don't understand. 
He made a pass at me. You want to make a complaint? Give me the details and I'll report it to my superior. No, no, no. It wasn't like that. Never mind. Forget it. I need to find this trainman. Left a book on the train that I was cleaning uh, Sunday. It was about 8.30 at night on the number three. Hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, could have been working swing. Could be on the extra board. And this guy, he looks like a movie star. He's great looking. The number three. Rob Harrison. That's your man. He looks like a movie star. Rob. Okay, now, let me get this straight. He's working swing off at 11, am I right? Yeah, that's right. Do you want these? I got the wrong kinds. Oh, well, um... I just got them from the machine. Brand new. Sugar babies. Well, it is what I wanted. Let me pay you for it. No, 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 no. It's it's on the house. We have something in common. A sweet tooth. <laughs> Thanks. Heart, don't fail me now. training class. Don't make a mess. Well, will you be late? What difference does it make? I was just wondering. Well, don't wait up. There's tuna in the fridge. And um, please get home as early as you can from work tomorrow night. We have to go over the wedding plans. He lives right there on the third floor. He was fighting with her? Mm-hmm. Oh. I case this place out. From upstairs, you can see right into their living room. You could tell they're not happy, and they're not married yet, either. That's her. She's typing. He's coming out. Door, please. What? Close the door, please. Stay 
have a terrible relationship. See what I mean? She's mean, Carrie. You can just tell. She's had an old job. She's got gray hair. Died. <sighs> Perfect body. Probably implants. I still wish I looked like her. Me too. I better get home. I got sinus. I think they're fighting again. Everybody fights these days, or haven't you heard? This is the unromantic generation. I read it in the paper. I don't want to be mean, but be realistic. A guy like that is never going to be interested in a, a person like you. I don't mean that as a put down. He wouldn't be interested in me either. I mean, look at his girlfriend. You know, I was reading this article on broken hearts. They can mortally wound you. 15 years after getting thrown over, you end up with cancer. I've got three weeks off, Carrie. I'm going to get him. Oh, are you expecting company? I sure am. Uh, some relatives is coming? No, no relatives. Some friends coming to town? Something like that. Just one friend. One. Oh, mm. that's nice. Uh, a girlfriend comes to visit. Enjoy yourself. Nice. Chasing my dreams and make a change. Excuse me. These are all men's cologne. Sorry. Can I help you with something? Yeah, do you have something like this? Only my size? This woman today padded out her bosoms with tissue paper. She looked very nice. Maggleby had a fit. OK, the tawny cream. I mean, all I did was give her bosoms. Is that a capital offense? You just have to be subtle. OK, now feather in the apricot harvest. Just smudge the line. Somehow I never get it on right when I'm working on myself. Yeah, well, because you're used to working on somebody lying down. Mm -hmm. I've got to see this. How do I look? Carrie, I knew you could do it. If only Mr. Maggleby could see this. It's your first masterpiece. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> My turn, no, you try huh? it. Okay. Don't let your ankle.
to wobble like that, Grace. I'm trying. Okay, I got it. Got it. Swing your hips. It's good. <laughs> That's really good. That's good. Okay. Okay. Now, just remember, you've got to be interesting, okay? You've got to be stimulating. You've got to talk to him about the deforestation or how the, the ozone has a big hole in it or the landfills, they're just overloaded with plastic diapers. No, Carrie, don't you understand? The way to a man's heart is through his stomach. skates. Will you join me? Banana splits, chocolate and strawberry. Once I went to Colorado with my dad, I used to sit in the car watching the mountains, pretending like they were ice cream. Mm -hmm. the snow was <laughs> marshmallow topping? Yeah. <laughs> I like comforting foods, don't you? Like Hot chocolate on a rainy day or grilled cheese sandwiches. Mm. Mm, macaroni and cheese, baked in the oven with the cheese kind of puffing. And sugar babies. Oh, yeah, sugar babies, yeah. <laughs> 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 mm. They paged me in the rank. How did you know my name? I just know. I've seen you skate. You should be in the Olympics. Well, thanks. <laughs> <clears throat> that was my dream, actually, once, to be in the Olympics. Just never quite made it. <laughs> Even thought about being a dancer once. But instead, you ended up as a motorman. Are you some sort of detective? No. I ride the subway every day. I've seen you. I work for a funeral parlor. Yeah, I, I do the makeup and I play the organ. Some people think it's kind of creepy for me to work there. Do you? Oh, no. Somebody has to do it. Right? It's like driving a train. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, thanks a lot. It's really a treat. Here's my address. Why don't you come over after work tomorrow? I'm going to cook you the most wonderful dinner. Oh, I, I'd really like to, but I, um, could I get my skates? How about roast chicken with mashed potatoes smothered with gravy? I uh, have to work late. Your shift ends at 6. You can even bring your girlfriend if you want. She's out of town for the holidays. It's Christmas time, and you're alone, lonely. Come on, come to dinner. 
I have an appointment. I can make candied yams with hot rolls dripping with butter. Look, I can't. I want a prize for my devil's food cake. Dark chocolate, it'll melt in your mouth. I'll see. Seven o'clock. Mr. Harrison accepted my invitation to dinner. No kid. Yeah. Hey, Rob, how about a beer, man? <laughs> right. Yeah, why not? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, don't you have to call your girlfriend and ask for permission, buddy? <laughs> she went home for Christmas. Uh, she left you alone, man? Yeah, I have to work. I couldn't go. She must really trust you. A handsome guy like you could get into a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Hey, come on, man. We can live it up, huh? A night out on the town, buddy? Who knows what might happen? Yeah? Yeah, who knows, huh? Drop something, buddy. Stolen. And Philly moves the ball down court. Grace. Who's Grace, man? What? <laughs> Nobody. I can't talk right now. We'll be here any minute. Excuse me, about four hours late or something. I have to think positive. Be realistic. He's not going to show grace. That's the way men are. One minute they're nice, and the next minute they're slime mold. I've got to go, Carrie. Feeling, man. I got a definite premonition that the next woman that walks in that door is gonna be packing a pair of 44. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious, man. I'm psychic when it comes to these things. Yeah, yeah. This woman's gonna be massive. <laughs> 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 She's a dog, man. Oh, <laughs> man. Well, looks good to me. I am telling you, she's a dog. 
if he chases cars. <laughs> anyway, more than a mouthful's a waste, right? Yeah, well, Rob here, see, he's an experience, right? You know what he looks for? Eyes. He likes to gaze into her eyes. Yeah, no, 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 no. What I look for is, um, gropeability. <laughs> Probability? Yo, how do you spell that, man? <laughs> oh, my God, it's after 10. Look, I, I, I gotta get home now. Uh, they old lady. Yeah, yeah, me too. Mm. Yeah, me too, man. See you later. Yeah. Gotta get home to the wife and kids, man. Keep it clean, buddy boy. Keep it clean. Hey, 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 I thought we were uh, going on the town tonight. That's what we've been doing, man. That's what we've been doing. This is it. This is all she wrote. Watch out for the crawling on. Hi. You know what this is? This is your, um, this is your address. I uh, found it in the ashtray. I had everybody in the bar looking for it. <laughs> Something's burning. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, the chicken in the corner is stuffing. <coughs> <coughs> I gotta get some air in here. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> A lot of smoke in here. <coughs> oh, sorry. My fault. Aren't you late for dinner? Don't look at me. I look terrible. I was all ready. An incredible dinner. The table was beautiful. Oh, it looks fine. Candles and wine. Oh, no wine, thank you. Don't worry, I drank it all. I had the music and the lights. I even bought a new mattress and silk sheets. Mattress? Don't you get it? I was going to seduce you. You, I'm, uh, I'm kind of dizzy. I, uh... Isn't it crazy? I actually thought that I could get you up here and win you over with chicken and chocolate cake. I actually thought that somehow you'd finish your meal, wipe your mouth, look over at me, and settle in for the night. I thought I could get you with food. Oh, don't feel bad. I keep thinking about the dinosaurs. They're gone, wiped out. They survived for millions of years, and then they disappeared. The same thing is happening to us. My best friend, Carrie, she keeps telling me that insects are taking over and we're soon going to be extinct. I just wanted a little happiness before it's too late. Oh, don't, don't cry. <laughs> don't be sad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> everything is in, um, <laughs> in circles. Can't have uh, um, a. Oh, Rob. I'm so sorry getting you up here. <laughs> Don't worry, Rob. I'll take care of you. I'm very good with dead people.
What am I doing here? You came for dinner. I came for dinner? Mm-hmm. I have to uh, go. I'm late. But it's your day off. <clears throat> I have an appointment. Where are my clothes? On the chair. Watch out for the crawling eye. What? <laughs> Didn't you see that movie? You know, the big eye, the smoke coming from under the door. I was always afraid it was under my bed. I still make a wide leap just so it won't get me. Oh, my God, I've got a very bad headache. I'll go get you some aspirin. Oh, um, I, um, we didn't, um, you were a perfect gentleman. You passed out cold. Oh, God. I'll go fix your bath. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't do that. I, I don't have time for a bath. You know you talk in your sleep. Last night. You were saying something about running off the track. Mm. Must have been dreaming. Driving the train right off into the sky. Mm. <laughs> That'd be fun. Making stops at all the stars, like little towns on a road map. A lot of interesting things happen on the train. One time this woman had her baby right on the run to Yankee Stadium. Muggings, rapes, people getting killed, people making love. <laughs> Here, have some more while they're hot. Oh, no. Really, I'm totally stuffed. I don't even eat breakfast. Olivia and I are always on the run. How long have you two been living together? Well, let's see. Made 17 payments on the television set. Made uh, 25 payments on the living room set. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's about two years and two months. We're right on schedule. We'll get married. We'll um, have two kids, Timothy and Louisa. Boy, you really have things planned out. Yeah, Olivia's like that. She wanted me to get into computers, only I really didn't like computers. <laughs> anyway, I really like driving the train. I, I don't know, I make pretty good money. You know what I think? I think that everything is like a dot, and someday all of the dots will be connected. And then we'll know the meaning of our lives. Rob. Can you meet me at the 14th Street station when you finish your shift? What for? Because I want to take you to my dad's house for dinner. Grace. Look, I'll never see you again. I don't want to miss this opportunity. I mean, I just want to take you there for once in my life. I want to show them. Show them what? That maybe I could get a date with somebody like you. Look, two hours of your life. I'll never ask another thing. I won't bother you or wait around the terminals for you or even watch you skate. I'll disappear. Poof. I really will. Elsa, look! Go get out. She's got a boyfriend. He's cute. Did you hear me? Go get Al. She's got punk hair. Makeup. Al. Hi, Wanda. What's going on? Al. Daddy, this is Rob Harrison. What the hell? What are you gone, punk? I'm walking along and this guy yells baby cakes. I didn't know whether he flattered or insulted. It's a compliment. Nobody's ever called me that before. Another helping, Grace? No, thanks, I'm fine. Now, Grace, you know you always have at least two helpings, sometimes three. She's right. I can really pack it in when I want to. <laughs> you should see me. Grace used to be a tomboy. Always climbed the trees with all the boys. It was thinner then. Don't believe him. I was big as a house. <laughs> no, no, that's not true. We, we got a picture right here. 
Daddy, face it, I was never a cute little girl. Where is it? Where is that picture that Grace gave us? Oh, it's in the storage closet, dear. I, I swear I haven't had time to hang it anyway. We all know that Grace has a pretty face. She just needs to lose a little bit of weight. Well, I think Grace looks great. I think she looks terrific, just the way she is. Well, she always was a sly one. I mean, I had no idea that she had such a nice friend, and, and then she shows up with you and this new look. Where did you two meet? Oh, ice skating. On the subway. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, uh, actually, we, uh, we saw each other first on the subway. But we really met ice skating. Oh, well, that sounds romantic. Probably not as romantic as falling in love at the supermarket. You know, the big orange. <clears throat> Lisa, would you get the gravy? to my sister's for Christmas dinner. Of course, you're welcome to join us. You're invited. She knows she's invited, Al. But there'll be so many people, all my crazy relatives. You wouldn't know any of the people. It won't be much fun. That's OK, Wanda. Rob and I have already made plans. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've already made plans, so I uh, can't hardly. <laughs> you're all welcome to join us. Oh, how sweet. But we already promised my sister next Christmas, OK? Next Christmas. Bye, Daddy. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. It was nice to meet Thank you, too. Thank you for coming. Happy holidays. You too, Goodbye. Wanda. Good night. Good night. I never knew exactly what happened. I mean, I was only six years old. I came home from school one day, and there were all these people, and my dad was crying. He told me that my mom had gone to live in heaven. After that, I had to go live with my aunt. I guess I just sort of grew up and got a job in my own apartment. Yeah, me too. I've been on my own since I was 16. My mom and I moved here from Albuquerque, and uh, my stepdad didn't care much for me. <laughs> he turned to ice skating, and I turned to food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know what you said about liking the way I look? Did you just say that? No, I meant it. See, nobody understands what it's like to live inside a large body. You want to make it shrink, but nothing seems to do it. Aerobics? <laughs> totally humiliating. <laughs> I mean, picture it. All those thin, hard bodies. And me. Makes me feel like such a failure. I know the feeling. You do? Failure. Mm. But you know, sometimes when I'm driving the train and I'm going through a tunnel and it's pitch black and then I hit daylight and the sun is shining and all of a sudden, I don't know, the world just seems so beautiful. It fills me up. Olivia should hear me now. I sound like a poet. <laughs> you do. <laughs> that, that stuff I said about Christmas and you and me making plans. I just said that because of Wanda. I picked up on it. You did? Yeah, I understand. Watch out for the crawling eye. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whew. My motorcycle's in the parking lot. Well, thanks for going with me. I know it was kind of an ordeal. <laughs> yeah. Well, think of it this way. You'll never have to do it again. Yeah. I, I guess I'll go home now. Hey, you want to uh, go for a motorcycle ride or something? I've never been on a motorcycle before. Never? <laughs> never. Yo, Padre. <laughs> What's up, man? Thank you. 
Hey, man, I was hoping I would run into you. You want to, uh, you want to go for a beer? Sure. I'll see you later, right? Yo, Don Juan, where did you find that one? Oh. <laughs> uh, it's nothing like that. She's a friend of my little sister's. Uh -huh. <laughs> How would you like to be smothered by that? I'm just about to hit the Grand Concourse. I look out of the train, and there's this gorgeous woman, absolutely gorgeous woman, standing in the window. Yeah, and don't tell me she was naked, hey, right? Stop, 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 <laughs> homeboy. I almost stopped the train. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, it was a motorman's dream, man. That's all we are is a bunch of peeping Toms anyway. <laughs> hey, man, I forgot something. I got to get going. Well, what's up? Let's see it. What's up with him? Who knows? Hey! Hey! Rush, set it up, Rush. Set it down. Hey, Come on. Yo. yo-yos, they really are. Well, sometimes I feel like I, I gotta be a part of it, you know, um, to be a real man. And then when I'm there, I'm mostly embarrassed. Grace! Just let go! Let's say it. I'm obesely overweight, I'm fat, and I'm disgusting. Would you stop it? You stop saying that junk? Then just listen to me. I was, I was a real jerk back there, okay? But it's not the way I really feel, and I'm sorry. And I like you, Grace. I like you a lot. Grace, should I call the police? No. Don't call the police. Grace. It's all my fault. I told you stuff, and now you feel sorry for me, and I don't want that. Would you stop it? I've only been with one man before in my life. When I was 16. I've only been with Olivia. Got pretty scarves here for sale. What about a scarf, lady? It'll look nice on you. What yeah. do you want? Anything you want, take your pick. Silk, paisley, aqua, sea green. Oh, what about this? Well, that has your name on it. Catches the light just like you do. You're a beautiful woman. What did you say? You're a hot woman. so fast today. That's because you had something to think about. Yeah, something nice. Christmas Eve and you. <laughs> I 
going to look so beautiful. I should go home and get my good clothes. I already took care of that. Come with me. Merry Christmas. Huh? And what is this? Uh, this black shirt with the red suspenders. <laughs> suspenders? Mm -hmm. um, hmm. And this sweater with the polka dot scarf. <laughs> <laughs> polka dots. <laughs> <laughs> Never worn anything like this before. Olivia says that I can't carry it off. She says I should stick to the basics. Wow. <laughs> this is great. What do you think? You think I can get away with it? Rob, you're gorgeous. You can wear anything. Right. <laughs> oh, and there's one more. Here. Silk pajamas? Silk pajamas, sugar baby. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. <coughs> Frost <coughs> nipping at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir. Up like Eskimos, everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe help to make the season bright. I met Olivia on the beach at Sunken Meadow. She was my first girlfriend. She's tried to shape me into what she wants me to be, but um. I think she's losing the battle. <laughs> if you're mine, I mean, if you were with me, I wouldn't want you to change anything. Nothing at all. Merry Christmas. <laughs> They're beautiful. Too beautiful. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> the only thing is, I can't stand on them. Okay, you won't fall. No, come on, just hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh. My nose is running. Well, don't wipe it, just hold on. Left, <laughs> right. Am I skating? I mean, really? Of course you're skating. I... Come on. <laughs> I can't. Okay. What are you doing? Rob, come back here. Come on. Okay, now, baby. Come back here. Come on. No, I can't do it. Come to daddy. You can do it. You asked for it. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah. I don't even know where I didn't find yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> you did it. Beautiful. That one was just beautiful. Yes. This is the best Christmas I've ever had in my whole life. When's his girlfriend coming back? She called him at work. Mommy. She's gonna stay over New Year's. Yeah, and then what? I don't think about that. I don't want to ruin anything. Mm. Off to the big king, All baby! Right. Yeah. Hey, come on, Carrie! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Lucky. No, thank you. Great. Come on. Oh, cut that rope. Let's <laughs> take this baby to the Greek Let's Isles. Let's go. The Greek Islands are ruined, you know. They're overrun with Euro trash. I don't care. I just want to take this moment, put it in my pocket, and keep it forever. Nothing lasts forever. We can all be wiped out in one second. 
plane crash, an earthquake, a 20-car pileup, a serial murderer, a, a button pushed in a black box. <laughs> Where does she get this stuff? I happen to read. I'm a literate person. Planet is dying, you know. Soon it's going to be nothing more than a piece of rock just hurling through space, and we'll, we'll all be clinging on to it like vermin. Yeah, well, I'll be clinging to grace. <laughs> I'm going. Wait, what's the matter? I'm going home. This place gives me sinus. I'll be right there. Hey, where are you going? She can't be your best friend. She's too miserable. She's a good person. You just have to know her. Be right back. Mmm. Carrie, wait! That's the way it always is. Every girlfriend I ever had left me as soon as man appeared. But I call you. I invite you to go places with us. Look, New Year's Eve, we're going to the Orchid Club. We want you to come with us. Sounds wonderful. You think it's really fun watching you paw each other? We like each other. I'm sorry. I guess we forget. So choose. Choose what? Between us, are you going with me or with him? Grace! You know, his girlfriend's gonna be back next week, and then you're gonna want to do things with me, and it's gonna be too late. You'll be on your own, then you sure will. Damn it, I'm entitled to some happiness. Carrie, I'm enjoying myself, so don't try to ruin it for me. Carrie, please. There's not much time. We've got a few sweet, lovely moments that we can spend together, but we want you to be a part of it. Besides, Rob brought all that great food. We've got sausage and souvlaki and pita bread. No, thank you. Sausage is pork. Parasites are probably building condos in the sauce. You'll just have to choose. Grace! Rob, it's time to get up. It's 5.30. Subway's calling. I'll go make some coffee. No, not yet. Open a window. Rob, are you here? I came back early so we could celebrate New Year's together. on your lettuce. Gummy. Are the vegetables in your soup real or freeze-dried? Gummy. I, I guess I'll just have a glass of water then. Only bottled and no lemons. You know, they spray citrus with this bug killer and it gets in through the peel. It contaminates the fruit. It's terrible. So what are you, some kind of Buddhist? Could you clean the table too, please? Hang on, hang on.
afraid of? I've never been to a New Year's Eve party. Oh, uh, oh, baby. Mm, don't worry, relax. It's a piece of cake. It's like a uh, like a junior prom. Come on. I've never been to one of those either. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm afraid. All these people, they'll think I look funny. Funny? Funny? Who, who, who looks funny, huh? Eh? Eh? What do you think? Excuse me. Whoa! Are you looking for somebody? I know a lot of people around here. Yeah, I'm looking for my boyfriend. I thought he'd be out on the ice, but I couldn't find him. He's not skating tonight. How do you know? His name's Rob Harrison, right? Do I know you? No, I not exactly. I mean, we haven't met, but I saw you through binoculars. What is this? Do you know where Rob is? No. Yes, you do. You know something. I just maybe know where he is, but he's probably not there. I mean, people disappear all the time, you know, like in Guatemala and El Salvador. Look, you're an intelligent person. I can tell. You can tell that? Of course. Now be straight with me. Where's Rob? They were sort of planning on going up to this place. They?
Have you noticed? The beautiful ones always die young. On the 16th tee, Cody up to drive. And right down the middle. About What's it like, Grace? Quite Working long. with dead people. Gross. The dead are just like us. They are us. We're all gonna die someday. It's nothing to be ashamed of. <coughs> Could we change the subject, please? We're eating. I think it's creepy. I mean, you paint up their faces. There's nothing creepy about it. I just try to make them look nice like they did when they were alive. It makes their friends and family feel better to see them that way. Well, we've been lucky because no one's died in our family yet. Knock wood. My mother died. Lisa, you you need to eat more of this casserole. You need your protein. I swear she hasn't had anything to eat since she was six years old. You know what, Grace? I think I liked you better with your punk hair. Mm. Yeah, it was nice, Grace. But I mean, it's a relief to have the old Grace back, too. What happened to your boyfriend? Elsa? That's none of our business. I liked him. He was cute. Yes, and Grace knows it. Her friend is welcome here anytime she wants to bring him. I have to go now. I have to go to the laundry mat. Oh, oh, this is the pot! Two inches from the hole, this damn man misses the pot! I'm going now, Daddy. Yeah, okay, okay, sweetheart. He's finished, the man, he misses the pot! What's the matter with this man? We're so glad you could come. The girls love it. Thanks for asking me. Now, you don't need an invitation. This is your home, too. Mm -hmm. Listen, Grace, ever since your dad moved in here, well, it's been sort of crowded. I mean, what with all my stuff and the girls' stuff squeezed in here. Anyway, I thought that maybe you would like to have this back. I mean, I'm sure you've got a place for it, and we just don't have a wall left around here to hang it on. And it should be displayed. So, uh, you call us any time, okay? I mean, it must be hard right now with the boyfriend thing. No, right? everything's fine. <laughs> okay. You call us soon, okay? I mean, call any time. I mean that. Grace? The kids saw you out the window. We meant to put it up, Grace. Wanda, she just... It's not Wanda's fault. You're a grown-up daddy. Forget it. Doesn't matter. It's a nice picture. Never seem to get things right. Same way it was with your mother. She killed herself, didn't she? Yes. You never told me. He was six years old. I didn't know how to explain. You know me, never good with the words. And then later, when I was older... You never asked, Grace. I just thought you knew. How? She drowned herself in the bathroom. I found her there. It was too late. She was responding, not thinking in her right mind. I think in her mind, she thought you'd have a better life without her. She loved you more than anything in the world. I know she loved me. That's why it's so hard to understand why she left me. It was the same with Rob. 
It was the first time since Mama died that I felt that someone cared for me so much. And he left me, too. Sometimes things just don't work out. <laughs> but you touched him, Grace. You touched this life. He's going to be different because of you. And you'll be different because of him. Sometimes people have trouble showing their love. I'm not worth anything. I've known that all my life I'm just a misfit. No. You're a survivor. <laughs> Don't you know that, Grace? <laughs> I didn't turn out the way you wanted, so don't lie to me about that. You turned out just beautiful. Last night, I dreamed I was in bed with Sigmund Freud. We were in a hotel room at the plaza. You hate me, don't you, for telling Rod's girlfriend? No, I don't hate you. But you hardly talk to me. I was angry for a while, but not anymore. I guess we've all got needs. Sometimes I, I, I guess we feel like the dinosaurs, you know, alone and extinct. Beautiful, Carrie. You're a real artist. I'm just going to feather in some sparkle. He was a cooked down in one of those Chinese places down on Wayland. Probably died from all the germs walking around <laughs> on the counters. <laughs> so Manila, yeast, cancer. Anyway, I'm really sorry, Grace. It's okay. You know how my dream ended? How? I was working up a real sweat with Sigmund Freud. It was a very sexual experience. Then all of a sudden, he just turns to me and he says, sorry, time's up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't look at him. Close the coffin, please. No, he looks very nice in his beautiful suit. Oh, the suit it was so expensive. Never had a chance to wear it until now. Today is his birthday. Every year we have a party. Cake, candles. Every year. And now, no more. Perhaps there's something we can do. On behalf of the family of Benny Chan, we would like you all to join us in a piece of cake in memory of his birthday, which is today. Oh, yes, and diet soda will also be served. Grace. There's 
no need to say it. I quit. Have you gone bananas? A birthday party with cake and canned soda pop in a mortuary? It made them feel good. It made me feel good. And you can't quit just like that. This is a good job, Grace. Oh, look. You don't have to deal with the world out there. See, it's safe in here. The dead don't talk back. And they don't hurt you, and they don't complain. You know, I think I'm ready for some live action. Excuse me. Well, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Yo, Rob. Huh? How about a beer, man? Ah, uh, no, nah, man. I think I'm just going to go home. I'll see you. Take it easy, old man. I checked out several places today. There's the clubhouse over at Culverton. We can have that for the afternoon, but it'll cost us 200. They don't supply anything, so we'd have to rent tables and chairs. And I thought we'd just do hors d'oeuvres, you know, buffet table with um, punch and sandwiches. Rob, are you listening? This is important, you know. Yeah, I'm listening. Did you check out the tuxedos today? Tomorrow. Rob, you should have done it today. Want to go for a little train ride? Huh? No, don't be silly. I can't stand it when you're silly. Sorry. Rob, you didn't wipe out the sink. Oh, man. Hello? Yes, I'm interested in attending your school. Hair and makeup. Well, I've had some previous experience. At a mortuary. That's right. <laughs> well, let's put it this way. I've never had a dissatisfied customer. Okay, great. Great, I'll come by today. Thank you. Valentine's this year, all from different guys. Surprising how many men you can meet at night court. Catch a train. No, they just can't leave the train here. 